I was actually meant to start recording this an hour ago, so I am a little behind, but I've been taking photos for Instagram recently, like I used to do years ago now with Funko Pops, but taking pictures of models in the surroundings, you might find them in in universe. So if you did want to go check that out, it's not just sharing images of stuff you've already seen over here. It's more of a photo album of all of my mocks in universe settings and different scenes. So it's just a bit of fun. Feel free to head over there. The name is Master Moldy, just like the YouTube channel. But today we'll get into the Star Wars side at the minute because you've probably heard already me talk about a Harry Potter set that's really good for Lord of the Rings. I've mentioned it in at least two videos and it is the Aragog set. Now, my fiance is absolutely terrified of spiders. So I haven't actually managed to go out and pick it. In fact, I have been forbidden from picking up the spider set. So you won't see any spiders in this video. So if you are afraid of spiders, well, actually, I guess there is a massive spider in the thumbnail. I probably should have thought of that before making this video, but we're actually more focused at the side build. Again, in the thumbnail, you've probably seen a reference to the Umbara arc of the Clone Wars. And that is because I think the new Forbidden Forest Lego we're doing for Harry Potter is absolutely perfect for an Umbara scene. Now, if you are a fan of Lord of the Rings and wanted to know more about that, I'm afraid it won't be touched on more this video, but the Aragog itself is perfect for a Shelob if you are buying the new Barad It's a bit too pricey for my price range. Plus, We've already got the Disney castle taking up the only spot that it would fit. I do want to talk more about the Umbara style Forbidden Forest build. So let's take a look at the other build in this set. And if you are a Harry Potter fan rather than Star Wars, it's going to be a very Star Wars focused video. Then I'll give you a quick look at all my fiance sets as between the two of us, she's definitely the bigger Harry Potter fan. Although I haven't picked up the set, as I've said, because my fiance isn't a big fan of spiders, I have recreated to the best of my building brick ability the rest of the set and this is everything the set is so cheap it's honestly a really cool set if you are a fan of star wars or lord of the rings but this isn't the only set that this style of build has been present in as we do have a forbidden forest magical creature set you can see on the screen that includes a hippogriff aka buckbeak Hermione, Ron, and a little baby Thestral, as well as a few other creatures. You can see there's a bat, there is also a pixie, and a lot more of, well, I say a lot more, it's probably like three times this size, because you get the two big trees, and then the two little stumps, two, three stumps in the set. There's also a poly bag I'll put on screen, very similar to this, just the one segment of Forbidden Forest, and all of these can be linked up. I think the poly bag included Draco as well. I don't quite get the minifigures included in here. I complain a lot about the Mandalorian being included in a load of sets and characters like Darth Vader. That seems to be the Draco, Hermione, Ron and Harry Potter doesn't seem to be in too many sets. I mean he's in a lot of the scenes so he sort of makes sense but the other three I think are definitely overused in Harry Potter but this is well, slightly not what it's meant to be. I'll put on screen the exact version that this is meant to represent. I don't have a few of the leaf pieces and some of the others, but you can see that it's similar enough. I think it works as an Umbara piece, especially if you've got a chain of these. You might want to add a few flowers and switch up some of the colours, perhaps add a bit more of the translucent red to the plants. That might look really, really cool. But if you display this with your clone troopers, let me grab Captain Rex and Fives, who you probably saw in the thumbnail. I feel like they're the two that fit it best out of my collection. And I am actually looking at getting some custom clones soon, but they are very, very expensive. And especially when you can get a Rex that is this detailed for $11.99, I'm just not too excited to splash double that on a few of the cheaper customs. But for now, we've got Fives, we've got Rex, they work with Umbara, and you can see it's already slightly set in the scene. I guess it's a bit brighter because I've got my light on, but if you were to remove the background and place Umbara behind them, I'll put an edited image up on the left just to compare the two. And I think you can already see what I'm getting at. So that brings me to the question, why aren't Lego giving us an Umbara set, especially if they're doing something very similar for the Harry Potter line? And I think that pretty much sums up why they're not doing it 
Lego don't tend to like having a few similar sets on shelves, which personally I think is why we don't get an overly Clone Wars wave or too many clones in a set. I mean, right now we've got a ton. We've got the Coruscant Guard, we've got three battle packs, we've got Rex, we also have, I'm sure there are a few sets that I'm forgetting that are still on shelves. I have no idea what is retiring and what is about to retire. And to be fair, Lego don't necessarily have too much ideas. But that is a whole new video that we might get into later this year. Let me know if you want to see what sets will be retiring from Lego because they do let us know in advance. And I think Harry Potter, the Forbidden Forest specifically, it looks to be some sort of new line they're doing. We've got the Magical Creature set, we've got the Polybag, we've got Aragog. I'm sure we're going to have another set or two, either later this year or come next year. Hopefully they don't just leave us with what we've got because it is a bit... I just want a bigger set for the Forbidden Forest. I don't think there's necessarily two big sets. We've got the £25 one with the Magical Creatures. We've got, I think Aragog's only like £15, £18 which is absolutely amazing, especially if you've got the money to spend on something like Baradur or even Rivendell because it comes with Sam. The reason I mentioned Baradur is because it comes with Sam with the tools he uses to fight off Shelob in the movie. So I think it does pair really nice with that. Again, if you are going to go for a set for Umbara, this is the one that caught my eye and really made me think of Umbara, but the Magical Creatures is definitely a bigger set it comes with two trees i just really hope we get a bigger one and can turn it into some really cool umbara mocks because i know a load of us clone wars fans would love to see umbara return i think we've only had one or two sets from lego and that was back when clone wars was still coming out so definitely before you click off this video let me know down in the comments if you'd love to see lego take on something like umbara we could even get something like a diorama from Lego because we haven't got too many dioramas recently. We've had the Tatooine pod racers. I don't even think we've had another diorama this year. Of course, we've got the Tantive, which I did turn into a diorama and that looks amazing as a diorama. It's more of a diorama playset. And if you want to know more on that, you can check out the review. It's very similar to the Dark Trooper attack that is just above it. I completely missed pointing to it. That one just above it. And I've also got Moss, Isley, and the Duel of the Fates. So perhaps I need to make another diorama soon because they're all quite old. I mean, this set come out in, I think it was April, if not even before that. It might have even been March. So I'll definitely get onto a diorama soon. Let me know if you'd love to see an Umbara diorama down in the comments. It's been a very short video, but I think everything has been said. And thank you so much if you did stick to the end. Be sure to drop a like so I know how many of you made it this far and subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss out on more awesome Star Wars mocks coming soon, including possibly a diorama on the horizon. Again, check out Instagram and all the photos. I'm treating it more of a photo album than posting any new mocks. So you'll see a lot of my older builds like the ships behind me that I've just uploaded. I think they're being uploaded today. So they would have gone up yesterday for you watching this video a day later and may the bricks be with you always.